I think uh, then we'll we'll go ahead then. Yeah. Awesome. So hi everyone. Um, I'm Samia and I'm a part of the Hope team. So thank you first for being here and taking time out of your day to like join the meeting. And today we'll be talking about how we started Hope and what we've been doing and like a short idea of why we are here and what what work we've been doing so far. So um, let's go ahead. So we started Hope about a year ago in the middle of the pandemic um, with all of us being in our respective houses and with a mission largely to create this campus environment where everyone feels accepted, heard, understood and are mentally happy and healthy. And that is our vision, that is our goal, that's always been it. And, and to get there, we intend on doing this by say building easy to access resources, um, like putting out media and like other creative content that is that kind of encourages people to be more positive and have a much more you know pro positive outlook towards life. So that's that's our goal, that's our vision and mission. Okay, so um, hi guys, this is Maha. So why this initiative? So I have heard from people and you might think for yourself also that yes, there are unfortunate events that happen uh, if you don't talk about mental health, but do we really need to spend so much time talking about mental health? So if I have to break it down, uh, say you're a person who has not faced any issues concerning your mental well-being, but lows in life are inevitable. So when I say low, I'm talking about things that put you off every day, like sc scoring like bad in a test, or you were shouted at by someone on a very good day, or you hear some comments that you know hurt yourself. So most of us have friends and family who we can lean on to if, you, if you're feeling low. And they just go away if you talk to them. But, um, and I'm sure kids to elderly, you and I, we usually overcome these feelings and stay motivated by talking to people. So talking to someone is very essential, but often um, it's not that your friend is in a good time in his life to give you that motivation or your family is there to call you and you can talk about their feelings. So at Hope, we want to be that friend to you. We want to create that culture in the NITT where people don't really have to hide their struggles, uh, fearing judgment. So if I'm finding it hard to cope up with the subject, I should feel safe enough to share it with my classmates. And you never realize that someone else also might be finding it difficult and it may help both of you. So simple things are, um, like I mentioned, to even undergoing difficult um, mental health problems, it is essential that you and I know how to deal with them. So if a friend comes and talks to you saying, listen, I can't do it anymore, it will help a lot for you to know how to guide him to get professional help, him or her to get professional help. So um, we're not mental health professionals, we're just students. And we really want to do a part in encouraging a safe environment here in NITT with no judgment so that all of us in the end can prosper better in life. That's all from me. Yeah. Okay, uh, so who are we? This is a question we get a lot uh, because when we started out, we were not based out of the camp, based out of campus. We were largely on Instagram. So uh, we'll do a quick round of introductions for the whole team. So hi, I'm Saumya and I belong to the batch of 2019. Um, I was a part of the ECE department and we started Hope about like a year ago and a bunch of us. And just the fact that when I needed help, I was not able to get the kind of resources I would have liked to have around me. And that is one of the key reasons why I wanted to be a part of something like this. Uh, hi everyone, I'm Ahmed. Uh, I graduated in 2019. Uh, I did my production engineering in the uh, Like Maha said, we're not professionals and we've sort of banked on relatability is what is how I think I'd put it. So uh, we've had a similar experience, I think, with NID Trichy. So we think that like if someone's going through a similar issue, then we'd probably be able to help you out or like you know, understand how how things work and I don't know. So so yeah, something like that. So uh, so that, that is that is kind of why I'm part of Hope, I guess. Yeah, that's that's it. Uh, hi, hi team. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm Bhargav, and I was uh, part of batch of 2020. I was part of the computer science department, and I feel mental health is one issue which is very very like rampant across the campus. Like it, but it's something that is not really addressed and. Uh, uh, this is like one 
reason why I definitely wanted to be part of this initiative and uh, awareness is something that I really want to work towards mental health awareness. Yeah. So uh, that's why I hope. Uh, thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Shruti from the batch of 2021 Chemical Engineering. So I think we can all agree that college can be a very daunting and intimidating place to be in. But through my personal experiences, it's always helped to have your peers and your friends support you. And I think hope is exactly that. It's a community that we want to build so that we can support and educate one another so that we can make NITT a more sensitized campus, especially in regards to mental health. So I think that's the reason why um, I really enjoy being in this team and working towards this initiative. Good evening to all. Uh, I'm Ashika. I'm from the batch of 2021, Metallurgical Engineering. Uh, so for me, why I'm part of Hope is because uh, we all know college is meant to be a lot of fun, but like we discussed, the lows are always inevitable and the reasons could be many. So I had a vision to be a part of something and work for something where people would support each other, empathize with each other's experience and make things you know, a little lighter for one another. So I guess that's what we've been doing at Hope and I'm glad we formed it. Uh, hi everyone, this is Fatima Maha. Uh, I'm from the batch of 2021 uh, from the chemical department. Uh, I've talked enough about why we are part of Hope and uh, personally, I've always wanted a non-judgmental platform to share in campus and I hope we're making it for you. And um, hello everyone, this is Swati. I'm a chemical engineering graduate from the 2021 batch. So HOPE was an initiative that stemmed from our own experiences, as well as those of our friends in college. We felt the need for like a pillar of support and safety, a place where we can like voice our feelings freely, seek help. So I guess that's what like brought me to HOPE. So yeah, thank you. Hi, I'm Sugina. I'm from the batch of uh, 2022. And uh, as a student, like sometimes the burden of work becomes too much and I needed a platform where I could vent out my feelings and that's when hope came in. Madhav, are you here? Okay, I think we can go. Uh Hello, I'm Gokul. I'm uh, fourth year. I'm in the batch of 22. I'm in mechanical engineering and I, I joined Hope around the same time as yes, October, December. And I think we have a lot of awareness about mental health. We talk a lot about it, but we don't exactly know which things are unhealthy and which things are not. And that was always my main problem that I would do things that I considered very normalized. So that is why I uh, sought mental health. And this is a very, this is something that I'm very invested in so, personally. Uh, hey everyone, uh, I'm delighted to be interacting with you all today. Uh, I'm Sai Mitrin from the batch of 2022. Uh, I'm studying in the EC department. And through Hope, we wanted to highlight the importance for one to acknowledge, accept, and talk. And that mainly it's okay to have memories, uh, sorry, it's okay to have moments where one feels low as long as you get past it stronger than before. And I'm really glad to be a part of such an initiative that focuses on helping others. Okay, great. And then I'm just going to quickly talk about Madhav also. Madhav is again batch of 22. He's been a part of the Hope team uh, since like October and he's one of the more, like like all of us, he's, he's like a little enthusiastic kid that works a lot around, you know, creating awareness and things like that. So that's that's about him. And then, awesome. So yeah. So this is a glimpse of the events we've done so far. So like after much preparation, like Hope was launched last year during the mental health month of 14th October. And to kick it off, uh, we had a webinar on mental health awareness by Sh Dr. Shrijita Gupta, uh, RCI certified clinical psychologist, who was there to like talk us through how we could cope better with our day-to-day -day mental struggles from staying positive and maintaining a healthy lifestyle during lockdown to like handling negativity on social media and like inculcating like self-love in general. And from December, 2020, we released our yays and nays, uh, which are a series of awareness posts that give a fresh perspective on like handling academic related stress. 
So earlier this year in January, we had a safe space session for depression called May During the Pandemic, facilitated by Ms. Bhairavi Prakash, who is the founder of the Mitra Trust. Next, um, to emphasize the interdependence between physical and mental wellness, we also had a session with the certified health coach and actor Ms. Ramya Subramanian. We've also had a session to discuss the increased anxiety that we all, that most of us have experienced due to this pandemic. And we had the session with a certified psychologist and yoga coach, Ms. Pallavi Rajankar. And in the upcoming slides, we'll look further into the more recent initiatives and services that we've been conducting at home. Right. Um, so one of the main services we have is the our free of cost bi-weekly safe space sessions. So the idea of safe space came in um, about like a few months ago, sometime early in like say May, June, and it's been in the works for a while. And eventually we kick it off in July. Uh, we started out with um, a few people and then now it's grown to a very sweet family. And we have two uh, clinical psychologists, Ms. Suhavna and Arpita, who conduct these sessions. Um, Safe spaces are essentially the spaces where you can feel free from judgment and unsolicited opinions and feel free to speak up and feel respected and, you know, okay while doing that. So that's that was our goal when we intended on creating something like this. And in general, it takes a lot for a person to open up, um, feel the emotions they're feeling and accept and talk about it. So when someone is strong enough to do that, it's only fair that they're given that kind of respect when they do it. So um, that was our goal and we've had quite a few sessions up until now and we also had a friendship day special edition where we had people sign up in like groups of two and three and we had fun sessions uh, with them. So uh, this is something that we intend on continue to like we continue to do um, even now and it's we intend on it happening forever so uh, please do uh, look it up and uh, keep an eye out for these sessions. So uh... So Havna and Arpita's take on the safe space session should give an idea of what the session is like. So it's basically a small bunch of people coming from different walks of life. And we prefer to keep it small so that it is easy for everyone to converse with each other. Uh, so they engage in conversations and by listening to ideas and experiences of others, they find a common ground to discuss. This leads to some very interesting conversations and uh, the psychologists facilitate meaningful expression of thoughts and feelings. Those were so Havna's exact words and there's no better way to put this so, yeah. Next slide, please. I can move to the next slide. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this, yeah, oh, previous one, sorry. Uh, oh, wait, one second. Yeah. Yeah. So this is definitely the best part of the sessions uh, because, yeah, like after all the work that you put through, like this is where you get to know how things have gone. So it is always... And it's like the end of the cycle and it's really nice to see that. So when we come back to see how it is, it's like, it's all very heartwarming. Uh, whether it's been appreciation or any kind of suggestions, it has always helped us to sort of align to the needs of the community. So which I, so it's been very, very helpful. And we have to thank the people who've attended sessions to, you know, really take the time out and fill out the feedback. So that's very nice. So uh, Tell Us Your Story was one of our earliest initiatives and it's kind of my personal favorite one. So over here, uh, we started this initiative to interact with our audience. So here we encourage people to share their uh, stories of struggle so that you know the listeners or the people who see it and read it uh, tend to uh, you know interact with them, share compassion and uh, relate. So we have had some amazing empowering submissions which we have framed into posts on Instagram feeds. And uh, we leave it to the writer uh, about the case of anonymity or to give their names. So we have had both cases. And uh, yeah, so basically uh, we just want our audience to interact and help one another. Sorry. Yeah, so spreading of compassion and all that. So you all are welcome to share your stories too. Uh, so doodling is a fun way to express your emotions and this is one challenge that we started where we can like everyone can submit their entries in the form of art doodles or dance through any form which they are comfortable with and just express so every week we give out a prompt and 
according to that prompt people can send us entries and we've got a good response and these are just a few entries that we've got for our first prompt which was joy uh we're also coming up with another challenge uh like uh, do do with a session so uh, every saturday we'll be meeting on a on zoom and people can join us and do the and call color so if they're not comfortable with drawing they can also join us with coloring and uh, we all can just get together and get your minds of work and do do with us right um so another event that we have um, coming up very soon is uh, our collaboration with Mitra Trust. So um, Bhairavi Prakash, who's the founder of Mitra Trust, is our mentor. And uh, this event is going to be sponsored by Recal. So thank you. Thank you so much for that. Um, so this is a session um, that is, it's a 90 minute session, which will be interactive, where um, we engage our overwhelming emotions and because it's largely because this pandemic has been a very difficult one for people to traverse in, in, in any aspect, right? So we come together where we have a session where we can sit down and talk about how it's been, deal with our emotions and work through them through maybe doodles and art and things like that. And it's going to be conducted by Bhairavi Prakash and along with uh, Ms. Advaita Das, who is also an author and artist. Um, this is keep an eye out for the session. This is coming out pretty soon, uh, pr in probably around like say September October. It's going to be a registration based session, uh, so there are limited seats. So please do uh, keep an eye out. And one major uh, thing that you should note here is that it's for parents and students. So um, a lot of the times we have only student sessions. This one is something where we're trying out something different, where we have parents and students join in together. So this is going to be a definitely a one of a kind session. So please keep an eye out for that. Oh yeah. Uh, so in October of this year, we will be celebrating World Mental Health Day and our first anniversary. And we have planned various awareness programs and events uh, to recognize the National Suicide Prevention Month and World Mental Health Day. Uh, we aim to reduce the stigma surrounding these topics on campus and also assist uh, students in overcoming these situations that you know maybe difficult to discuss normally. Yes. Next slide. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so we are also very excited to announce a unique event, uh, Music Beyond Entertainment. This is a music therapy session by Mr. Samay Ajmera, and it's sponsored by our very own generous alumni at Recal. This is a hands-on music therapy uh, workshop for NIT Trichy students to learn, understand, and apply music as a self-care tool to improve their overall well-being and quality of life. Uh, Mr. Samay is a trained music therapist and has been a life coach for over five years, uh, striving to represent therapy through music and how it helps one transcend through the physical, mental, and emotional. He has helped many individuals overcome obstacles, discover the best version of themselves, and thereby help live their best lives. Apart from some inspiring TED Talks, he has also been a part of various organizations, uh, even our well-known IPL teams such as Rajasthan Royals and Kolkata Knight Riders. Do join us for the session and find your inner peace where you can explore endless possibilities that you haven't realized while gaining powerful insight through melancholy. Um, so yeah, we're almost done. Um... You can stay updated with all our activities by following us on Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook. We'll be uploading this uh, briefing on YouTube too. So, um, and the initiatives, I just wanted to tell that the initiatives that we may put up may not directly help you or connect with you, but it might help that one friend in your circle who really needs it. So even if the few people who we have here uh, share our initiatives, uh, we're sure we can reach the whole of NITT through you guys. So be sure to follow. And um, also we're here to talk about um, uh, anything my anything in your mind like doubts opinions or questions that you have for us so we're happy to have a discussion so if any of you have questions doubts anything you can share right now um just adding on to what maha said um the reason we started something like this was um for the students and is to make make a ca campus environment better. So we're happy to answer any questions regarding the initiatives we are holding or what's coming up or how you can reach us or any any of that. So please, please do feel free to ask us questions.
Uh, or you can also drop them on the chat. Yeah, you can drop them in the chat. Uh, in case you're not able to reach out to us now, uh, you can always feel free to like uh, DM us on our page on Instagram. So that's also something where we immediately respond to that as well. So um, that works or we also can also reach out to us on email. Um, so, so yeah, uh, there's no pressure. Yeah. Um, so our email is in, on the chat box. So please do um, keep an eye on that. Um, then I think we're good to go. Yeah, I think if we're done, then uh, yeah. Say bye. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much um, uh, for all of you for tuning in. Um, it's a really, really big deal, and we're so happy to have you here and talk about what you've been doing. And we really hope it makes a difference to you um, as much as we think it would. So uh, feel free to reach out to us uh, with questions and or whatever concerns that you might have. And I think we're good. And a, a big thank you to Recal also for hosting us today because it's been a it's been a blessing to have them around, helping us with things that we're doing. Right. I think then I can stop sharing. Yeah, I'll stop the recording.